Remember when flying cars were just around the corner? How long have we been waiting? Well, as John Blackstone found out, the future is now, almost. Many people have imagined pulling a flying car out of their garage. Marcus Lang is actually doing it. And he wants others to do it too. His company, Opener, plans to start selling the aircraft called Blackfly within the next few weeks. I believe that vehicles like this and other vehicles like this are gonna revolutionize transportation going forward. Uh, this is just the very beginning. Blackfly's carbon fiber body hides sophisticated electronics. And if you look back in here, you'll be able to see that there's three flight computers. But its real secret is in its small but powerful electric motors. You showed us how powerful this was in your lab. I believe you were blown away, literally. <laughs> that was three years ago, when after a decade of keeping his project this secret, Lang gave us a tour of his Silicon Valley factory. Back then, however, we couldn't actually see it fly. But this past week, Lang took us to his California test site. Lang prefers to call it a personal aerial vehicle. The FAA classifies it as an ultralight aircraft with limitations. This aircraft would like to fly a lot faster than at maximum speed we're allowed to operate at, which is 62 miles an hour. It can't fly over populated areas and its range is only about 25 miles. But ultralights do come with one big advantage. You don't have to be a certified pilot. John, we're going to be putting you in this aircraft. <laughs> to prove that just about anyone can fly it, Lang was willing to put a reporter with no experience as a pilot in Blackfly's single seat. They're fun to fly. You'll see. To prepare, I had to practice on a virtual reality simulator, which in the beginning had some challenges. See those trees there? I better be careful. Ah! Woo! But since Blackfly can pretty much fly itself, I was ready. Fun, but certainly out of my price range when it goes on sale later this month. While Lang won't yet reveal the cost, the first buyers are likely to be those with at least a couple of hundred thousand dollars to spare. Took me a minute to get the nerve, you know? <laughs> I, I had to think about it for a bit. But Lang's goal is to step up production. This is where the automobile was uh, 120 years ago. And bring down the price to finally make the flying car a practical reality. Are you good to go again sometime? Absolutely, how about in five minutes? <laughs> okay, five minutes. <laughs>